<laughs> well, it wouldn't be my show without more bloody technical difficulties. <laughs> Anyhow, um, I just met up with Dave Klein, who is a lawyer here in Vancouver. We went to uh, University of Victoria together, and uh, I used to keep him up all the time with my music, because when I lived in residence, I bought this massive sound system, and uh, my nickname from everybody in the building was Chronically Loud. So I'll leave you to, re to read between the lines on that one. So Kleiner, thanks for catching up. Sorry we didn't have more time, bud, but uh, it was really great to, to catch up. We should catch up again. And uh, wow, to everybody in Vancouver, uh, I, I've forgotten truly how stunning this, this place is, especially today. I mean, we're getting closer to the, to the nice weather times. Um, I don't have a jacket on. It's, uh, it's just really, really beautiful. So, let's get, oh, look at this. What is this going on here? What is this crap? Oh, uh, jeez, uh, Weezers. We're in some sort of, uh, some sort of black hole. There's, there's TV on the internet, and then I'm on the TV there, and it's, you know, it's almost like, it's almost like when you have two mirrors, and they keep bouncing off of each other, like, into infinity. <laughs> oh, dear. So, yeah, so I did pop off the ship for a little bit, catch up with Klein, go for a walk. Um, we don't have a lot of Vancouver's, because we come back here every, uh, every two weeks so uh, I kind of forced myself to go out I had to come back though by noon because it is the orders of uh, Ken Rush that currently uh, all the cruise directors have to do the Muster 2.0 announcements so I'm back for that I made my first announcement already um, I've got another one that I have to make in half an hour so I'm just having a nice little walk here enjoying the day checking that everything is set up right looking at myself on the big screen I don't know if you have a big screen at home but this is mine it's uh well, it's pretty big <laughs> all right so yeah I'm just gonna keep kind of walking around the ship somebody's tuning in uh, who you are it seems to be uh, incognito whoever you are but uh, thanks for watching as always so I'm gonna see how the Wi-Fi signal is we uh, head to the sports areas and check everything. Welcome on board, folks. And uh, yeah, we'll just see what's going on. Hi, hey, how you doing? All right, welcome on board. So yeah, we'll uh, can see our uh, our lifeguards down there doing a good job. And look at how tough he is. See that right there? No shoes, no socks, no service. This guy's a machine. So he's, uh, he's doing a very good job supervising the pool of nobody. So. But this is a good thing that the company did. Previously, we, we never had lifeguards. Uh, there were some very, very tragic uh, incidents. And uh, basically, the, uh, we have them now on all of our ships. So... But, and believe it or not, one of the things I think they're lucky about, they actually have white Crocs as their footwear. Their uniform footwear is white Crocs. So, um, that's pretty sweet that you have a job that you, you can wear Crocs. Because that sort of thing would be right up my alley. Uh, when I'm at home in Thailand, I try to not wear shoes as much as possible. I go out of my way only wear sandals and flip-flops because let's face it it's part of the lifestyle so now I'll just pop up here now to the sports area have a little look uh, how things are going nice to get some fresh air nice to get a, a bit of a walk I had a conference call with uh, some of the shoreside technical people because we're still short we're short a uh, light tech a sound tech uh, some stage staff. I believe it's a problem 
throughout the fleet, if any of my colleagues uh, know about those challenges. But um, yeah, it was a good conversation. Hopefully they get us some staff and a couple of other operational things we needed to talk about. So uh, it was a productive, it was a produ productive phone call. So um, I don't have any of the office on my Facebook uh, because I've mentioned this before. I don't necessarily want them knowing what I'm getting up to. However, uh, if you guys do somehow see the video, uh, thank you so much. It was nice to talk to you, Ali in the office um, who was my production manager I think on this ship uh, great to hear you doing so well shoreside and uh, Mike is uh, well we haven't really worked together all that much but um, I hear nothing but great things about you sir so thank you for the support and uh, welcome to the new lady as well I uh, forget her name now she was on the call but uh, back of the ship now Let's just have a little look what we got going on. Ooh, helicopter over here. Nice. Nice, nice. Ah, Dave Klein sent me a, a photo. Oh, maybe a, a photo of the ship. Uh, I'll have to check that out, Klein. So if you are around, if you're if you listen here oh Dave Klein says oh let's see what he says here uh, I just got a little message from there when we got when we got together we uh, we had a beer and I guess I kind of started him on his path of drunkenness today as uh, now he's gone somewhere to enjoy some beverages so I'm jealous uh, I would have liked to have uh, spent some more time with you today my friend but duty calls as they say duty calls so <clears throat> But, uh, yeah, maybe we can pop into that establishment next time. That, that could be fun. <laughs> All right, so I think that's about it. Oh, look at this. Our hardworking hotel maintenance managers down there. How you doing there, Igor? All good, bud? Nice. So that guy is responsible in making sure that all of the hotel areas uh, look absolutely uh, fantastic and, uh, and things are fixed and everything else and just a fun story for him he got on board and I said uh, I need a very large mirror and uh, he kind of he kind of scuffed at me you know saying what you, what you need your cruise director you need a big mirror and everything else well I said no I said it's for operational reasons um, our staff work in the hotel service industry. There are brand standards when it comes to shipboard appearance. And the mirror that we had in our office looked like somebody's crack mirror. Like it was, it was ridiculous. This thing was like, you, you could pop a zit, you could pop a zit on it and that was it. I mean, you couldn't check, you know, is your name tag in the right place? And you know, there's like about 25, 30 people that all work in that office. So. So now we have a new mirror and everybody is very very thankful for that and Igor gets it uh, it's not for me it's for my team in the office and yes I will use it too so Igor if you're watching thank you for your continued assistance and support great team player and uh, yeah one last little look at the rock wall here real quick Whoop. yeah there we go okay See you guys later. Bye-bye. Love you.